I am very excited to share with you my newest sketchbook. This is the 18th sketchbook that I've ever filled completely. And what's really funny about this is if I show you, from March 10th to April 30th, I filled this month of the sketchbook. For the month of May, I filled this much of the sketchbook. Improved my speed and I think my art quality as I went along. Let's get right into it. I designed the cover and drew that. I actually have a video on how I did that and the entire process of me creating this if you want to check that out. But I have my cover page um, where I have me and my Dougie and I welcome you to my sketchbook. I always like to include the dates um, that I started the sketchbook and the date that I finished that sketchbook. So it's from March 10th to May 31st. My little brother was playing Splatoon while I was drawing and I just decided to draw the characters. These are kind of inspired by Zelda, um, but I mean, it's not really entirely supposed to be her. This, I was using these new Art and Fly markers that I had just gotten and I wanted to try them out. And I really like the style of using like solid blocks of color. And it's very simple. I think it's just a very cute illustration. Some more sketches of just random characters. These ones are like mechanics or race car drivers. This is actually, wait, it was inspired by this postcard um, that I got from, uh, she's from another country and I can't, <laughs> I can't pronounce like her name. Um, but if you like her art, there you go. <laughs> art has no language. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, this I just specifically remember I was on the phone trying to schedule an MRI because I was dying. That's just the whole spiel. This, I have another video on this. This is where I was just trying to draw something that would make me happy. And I was using the art and fly markers for that as well. <laughs> this I used Ohu markers. I was not happy with that. Um, some sketches. Those are more of those Ohu. There are these ones actually, the Ohu color dual tip markers. I use them a lot more now, but I had no idea what I was doing back then. This, I believe, I was just watching some BuzzFeed videos and drawing the random people of BuzzFeed. This, I really enjoy this. Uh, this was random, um, just spur of the moment character design, but I swear if I, in the 90s, this would have been a TV show that I would have watched. <laughs> it just looks so right up my alley. Like a super spy babysitter in the 80s or something. <laughs> uh, this, I used a Pinterest reference of some old uh, clothing. Some other sketches. Uh, an original character going through the years of Hogwarts, leveling up. Um, some more Pinterest references. Princess Leia, a funky looking C-3PO that I don't think I had a reference for. <laughs> Just a feel good sketch. Uh, here I'm trying to draw my dog because I realized I love him so much and I never draw him. <laughs> so it's about time I figured out how to grab his essence and squash it onto the paper. So really like that one. Me and my doggy with a big heart. Uh, here we have Link. I almost said Zelda, that would have been awful. Here's some studies of some fish. And of course, blobfish. I, when I was drawing these, I was like, what? I don't even understand what fish look like. Like I'm looking at these references and they're just confusing the absolute crap out of me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think they turned out all right, but some of the beginning sketches were a little crazy. Just a bunch of sketches of me in my very simplified style. Um, another one here. Apparently I don't really like that drawing very much. I drew myself saying it. <laughs> Doggy again. Here's some brainstorming for an April Fool's Day video. A mermaid, because I was excited for a mermaid, even though it was only the beginning of April. <laughs> Little did I know I would actually complete mermaid, so that's crazy. Uh, here I was on the phone again with the hospital. So some random notes. Uh, another mermaid. I tried to draw like a realistic blubfish. Some random other things that I wanted to color with those Ohu markers. This sketch specifically is kind of interesting um, because I drew it like she had legs and then connected them. So you can actually see where her feet would be and the way the fins come off of it. And I thought that was actually kind of an interesting uh, thing. And I, I kind of like the way that turned out. Here I was kind of designing an outfit that I wanted to make. And that is my doggy. I really like this one with his tiny little eyeballs. I think he turned out really, really cute. And his mullet. This was a Pinterest reference, I believe, as well as that one. I really like this page. Just sort of the layout of it is kind of cute. This, I wanted to use my watercolors because I hadn't used them and I had abandoned them for so long. It was time to use them. Um, I really like this. I um, What I did was I took like this one brown color and mixed it with every other color that I decided to use. And I feel like it helped a nice cohesiveness to it. I like it. I mean, I'm pretty much a watercolor noob, but I really like the face as well. Probably should have used a reference for that flower. <laughs> Here, I think I just watched like a mini small video where she was like telling you how to draw every day. And she said like, draw something that happened that day or 
So what I did was I drew something that happened the day before, and it was just me watching TV with my doggie on my lap. This is something he does sometimes. It's, it's just so cute. This I kind of have to force him to do, but this, this he does sometimes. And that I do, but whenever I go down and like get in his face, he leaves, so. <laughs> so here's another one. I decided to draw what happened that day. I got woken up by the hospital calling me, so I was like, Meh. and my doggie. Here again, I drew something that happened that day. I was doing my taxes and my dog kept sitting on the papers and I couldn't see what was happening. So I made a little comic, I guess, of that. The next day, not much happened, but I got this glass water bottle that makes me feel like I'm from the future. And it's refillable and so cool. And it's like, oh, I really, really like it. This page actually, I didn't put a date on here. Really? This is the day that I actually drew this. So I didn't do this first, this cover. Um, because I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do with it. So I just started the sketchbook because I needed to sketch. <laughs> so here's when I was like, I need to do the cover now. So I designed some thumbnails, came up with a design I liked, and then plopped that onto the front there. This is a sketch that I really liked that I drew on a paper bag for my April Fool's Day video. This has doing some brainstorming. Not sure how I feel about any of that. Fun word to say, I guess. Frantic. <laughs> here's some more references from Pinterest. Some random faces. This one's a little derpy. Some blubfish and a blub shark. Actually, he's square shark. Blub shark's a different thing. <laughs> cat blub, so it's like a catfish. This one's sexy blub. Look, look at that butt chin. Oh yeah. I like that one too. It looks like he's dancing. Here I was designing some uh, simple like illustrations that could maybe be stickers or something. Um, I don't think I went with any of this one I've actually finalized and made a lot better. Some other ideas for stickers or something. <laughs> Bill. This page I was trying to practice different body types and like proportions. I really like some of these like little tiny sketches. I think they turned out really good. Uh, here I've drawn Maple because I hadn't drawn her in a while and I really wanted to use some markers and do some of that like flat colors that I really really love. Bloodfish. My doggy. I really like these tiny chibis. They're very cute or chibis, however you want to say it. And this chibi mermaid with a little blobfish. I love that one as well. Here I was using the Ohu watercolor pens, but I thought they were freaking awful. So I did not make a video on those. I wouldn't recommend those. They're, they're not good. And then this is with my White Knights watercolors, which I prefer. But they would cost a lot more, so I mean, that makes sense. Uh, here's some... Uh, I don't know if I used a reference. I don't think I used a reference for this. So it looks pretty cool to me because it looks like I did. <laughs> um, and I really like this sketch. I think this is one of my favorites. I really like just the weight of it. Like the way it's, I don't know, sitting there. Look, it's a person standing there. I really like that. Um, and this, I was like, I wonder if I could draw a mermaid because this was the day before mermaid. And this is what starts. Dun, 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 mermaid. And I posted a picture every day to Instagram of um, a drawing and now they're not all mermaids but for mermaid and that's like one sketch this is more than 30 pages so there's a lot in here <laughs> I drew a lot more than just what I posted to Instagram um, this is the first day of mermaid and I wasn't happy with that I used those oh dual tip markers again that I they're just not super conducive for this sort of thing so but that same day just to make myself feel better i drew some other sketches um i think some of these may be some pinterest references this one was definitely from my head and blobfish and other drawings i really like the spunkiness of that one another mermaid an eyeball and this is when i fell back in love with drawing with pen because i hadn't done that in a while if you notice there's a lot of pencil but this pen oh my favorite purple pen it's the big round stick grip I'm sure you've heard of it by now. I talk about it all the time. It's my favorite pen, just the flow of everything and the way you can get some light lines, some dark lines, some thin lines, some thick lines. Ugh, just love it. Even though it's just a plain pen. Look, of course I have them right here. I'm pretty sure it comes in like all different colors too, like green and pink and red and black and blue. <laughs> but the purple is my favorite. Here's another page of mermaids. I really like this one. This is me using those Ohuo do tip pens, but I apply water to them and I can get a more light color if I need. So this is actually the same color here, but I can get a lighter wash and I was like learning to use them. And I think they're much more useful in this manner than trying to just use them as straight markers. Here's another spread of mermaids. This is what I was like, oh, so cool. I can spread it off to the next page and this is when I decided my next sketchbook is gonna have like a spread that I can draw across because this just made me so happy. Another mermaid. I believe this one was definitely a Pinterest reference and then these two are from my head and I was like I need to draw more men so there's some more manly characters. This I looks really really cool. I don't remember drawing that. Um, that is a bird I guess. 
Another mermaid. This one I know I posted to Instagram. Uh, here are some more Pinterest references. I really like this one. This one I posted to Instagram. <laughs> I really like it. And there's the same girl in her romper. This was a, I used a reference for that one. That's a mermaid. Some drawings. A random little house. This is this tape that I bought. Um, Sticker Mule did packaging tape and like a long time ago. So this is my old logo. They did a sale and it's like $50 of this packing tape for $9. And I was like, well, <laughs> I just whipped up a design super quick and like sent it off. So I have a ton of this tape and I'm like, I'm gonna stick some in my sketchbook. Um, this is a mermaid that's like inspired by a fashion illustration. I really like that. I like the tail and everything made it a little janky, but I really like the way it looks and like the shading on this bodice area. And of course a bloodfish. Here I was um, trying to just come up with ideas for things that I wanted to include in my online store or my Etsy. Uh, here I drew me and my doggy as mermaids and some other sketches, of course. Here's some drawings that I made for Doodle Date when I sent them a package. Um, these are copies, I sent them the real ones. But they look real, except they're on printer paper. <laughs> here is another mermaid. I put her in a, like an outfit that's like rugged and like she found like a human outfit and put it on but it's kind of getting destroyed because it's underwater all the time and just I don't know, kind of like the way that looks. Some more mermaids here I was trying to do some research for like uh, how to use a DSLR camera but I still have no idea. It didn't help me. <laughs> I watched all these videos and like tried to make notes and like figure out how to use it but I don't really know and then I don't know. <laughs> this is when I did my left hand right hand challenge where I do the same thing with my left hand and my right hand. I have a video on that if you want to watch it. I really like this drawing. A lot of people thought it reminded them of what Michelangelo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because of the colors I guess. <laughs> but I really like it. I think it turned out good. Again I wanted to like spread the mermaid across the page. Really like this one too. Oh, that's really beautiful. Designing some packaging or other things for my store, how I wanted it to work. Uh, here's this uh, repeating pattern that I made. So I made this in Photoshop and then I printed it out on a full piece of paper and then put it here because <laughs> I liked it so much. I was like, I want this in my sketchbook forever. Yeah, this is using those Ohu dual tip pens. So you can see I'm, I'm learning to use them in different ways and they're way more useful. I really like them as this sort of sketchy thing. It's just better. <laughs> Here's a mermaid. I used a reference from Pinterest on that. I'll have a link to, I have a Pinterest board where I have most of my references. I started collecting them at this point. So if you want a link to all the references that I use, I'm constantly updating that. So I'll have a link to it. If you want to follow it, mm, 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 you can draw some of the same things I draw. It could be really fun. Here I am drawing my doggy. I use some watercolors to try and get him to look like him. <laughs> um, this one probably looks the most like him maybe. Here I was making a Mother's Day present for my mom. It's a merman. These are some watercolors that Holly Brown sent me and oh, she was so nice to send me that stuff. She sent me this big box of things and it was just an absolute pleasure to open. And these watercolors were in them and they're just the prettiest colors. And I wanted to draw a mermaid and I really like the way the tail turned out. It's almost like a koi fish or something. I think the hair is a little meh but I really like that tail. And then of course a blubfish that I was using. <laughs> these two are drawn from uh, a drawing, uh, Bucky. So it's Bucky as a mermaid, I guess. <laughs> Another mermaid, this time with pencil. I really like the way this came out. Just the amount of detail in them and like the hands. Yeah, I like that. The more sketches, this was a reference from Pinterest but then these were inspired by it. So I wanted to keep drawing her because I was like, what the heck could that hair look like from behind? <laughs> so I started just sketching it out a bunch more times. Here, this is actually, I just accidentally ruined this, but this is the label for my waffle buttons. So like inside the button, here, I'll show you. So there was actually a clear plastic sheet and then this little waffle button goes in it and then this, and then this went over the top like this and like stapled to the packaging and then this hangs down like this and then so it was like inspired by like an Eggo waffle container and then it has that repeating pattern on the inside but you can see I kind of ruined this one when I was folding it so I decided to put it in my sketchbook where it will live forever like that. Here's my waffle button. <laughs> More mermaids. Again, I've been really enjoying like drawing a ton of like seashells to create the bra and I really like that. Here's a little mermaid pup, a ton of them. I kind of have a story for her. So that's why there's a lot more action happening there because I kind of know who she is and what she does sort of thing. Here I just decided to draw me and my doggy. This is with this pen that was really, really juicy. So it was kind of hard to control 
but I really like the looseness of these and just the freeness of them. And then here I stretch the doggy across because I really enjoy doing that. <laughs> and then this mermaid turned out really, really cool. I, I tried to like experiment with having like the scales also come up her bodice. So that was kind of a different thing for me. Here's the illustration I made with gouache. So it's my first gouache. It's the acrylic gouache. Um, from the May palette full pack box. I really love the way this turned out and a lot of you did too So thanks, but I really appreciate that here. I drew my outfit of the day <laughs> Which was just pajamas. I remember looking at the mirror and I saw that like one of my pants was higher than the other The way it was rolled up and I'm like me. Yeah, and this dog turned out really really good. That actually looks like him. That is very cute I like that Here's another mermaid, again, wearing human clothes. I really like <laughs> putting him in like old fashioned -y outfits. It was really, really fun. I also really like the style of this. <laughs> another sketch of a mermaid drawing lots of mermaids because it's May. <laughs> uh, and this one, I really like the flow of this, the way like mermaids are going up to who knows where. That one's really cute too. Here's some more illustrations. It was getting really hot out at this point, so I just wanted to draw people in shorts. So I used a paintbrush and water to apply the hula markers where I wanted the light tones, and then I just used the straight marker to create like these strands of hair. That's a really fun technique, I think. Here's some more sketches. Here's, I drew me, and I'm on prednisone now, so my face is all pudgy, so I wanted to draw that because it makes me sad. <laughs> I don't know. I really like this sketch though. Uh, there's a mermaid. Not super happy with that one. This one, the reference was wearing like a big poofy sweater. So I had to like come up with what the arms looked like, which was an interesting study. Didn't lead to the best drawing, but I feel like I learned a lot. This, I had a meltdown. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Uh, but I really like this drawing of my Dougie. He looks really cute from behind. Look at that, look at that. Here I used the art and fly markers again. And since they bleed through, I used um, a pen and just redrew it on this side, which is really, really fun. I enjoy doing that. We got some more mermaids, girl in a romper, romper, romper. I like drawing rompers. I do not like wearing rompers. And here we have some doggies, some random things I had on my desk. Some more sketches. These were Pinterest references. I really like the way those two turned out. This one had, I drew first and I it just felt like it wasn't going in the right place. So I drew a smaller one and I think that one turned a lot better. I think I got the gesture down. Some more Pinterest references, ballerinas. Ballerinas are really cool to draw because you can like, their arms are so like toned and you can really see the way arms look. So I recommend that. <laughs> some more sketches. I have this like denim vest that I'm putting all my enamel pins on. I wanted to draw that. Here I tried to draw a dinosaur, which I recently just drew a dinosaur and it turned out good in my new sketchbook. Just wait, <laughs> I can't wait to show you that one. <laughs> it's like a turtleneck mermaid. I don't know, I thought the idea was funny. <laughs> I even drew bloodfish in a turtleneck and then I drew her a bunch of times because she was really, really fun and more experimenting with her design. It's a couple more of her. I thought, what if she was an octopus? That could be kind of funny. And then someone was like, oh, she should have a pet turtle because like turtles can like, you know, go into their little necky things. So, so I drew her with a turtle. Here's another illustration I like and I like this one as well. Just the sketchiness of them. Here's a little from my imagination drawing. <laughs> this is when Casey sent me for my birthday. She sent me the Casey box. Um, oh, it was so cool to open. I actually talked about it in another video as well. But yeah, it was so cool. And I was trying out all the art supplies she sent me. She sent everything she sent me. It was purple. It was so much fun. Oh, I loved it. Here I am brainstorming for my purple illustration. That's this one. I drew an illustration using every single purple art supply I owned. And I decided to draw myself with all my purple stuff. So this is where that illustration lies. It seems to have gotten kind of dirty somehow. I don't know what happened, but oh well. <laughs> and another mermaid. I really like the style of this. I think it turned out really, really cute. This one, I had a reference for this much of it. And then I just come in, came up with the tail. This one turned out really, really cute as well. That was kind of supposed to be me, but it doesn't, I don't know if it looks like me. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> this, I was watching some YouTube videos and like someone just like panned the camera across this crowd and there was this lady and the way her pants fit was just so amazing. And when you see a good butt, I feel like you just gotta draw it. <laughs> I have no idea who she is, but dang girl, nice. And then this is a, someone on like a trapeze or something. Here's some Star Wars-y thing because I was going to go see Han Solo that day. <laughs> that movie was hype. <laughs> but I, I just wanted to draw them because I have a Star Wars cup actually right here with some art supplies in it. So I tend to like draw them when I don't know what to draw and I don't feel like grabbing my phone for references. I just sort of like 
draw some of the stuff. These aren't like the poses they're in, but it was, you know, inspired. And then this Chewbacca, I don't even know what's going on with that one. <laughs> Here's using some more watercolors. I wanted to draw something simple with like two colors, but I went and picked two complementary colors. You can't really mix them. So I ended up getting green and it was just a little messy there, but I think the whole thing turned out kind of cool. Some more mermaids. Um, I really like the flow of this one. Trying to draw my doggy. Oh, he's so cute. He's cuter than that in real life though. I really like this guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here we went to the park with my friends, so I drew them. There they are, hello. <laughs> Some other sketches, I decided to fill the page. <laughs> uh, here, this is another YouTube video where I just decided to draw them. Some random guy leaning up against a thing. I, whenever I'm watching a video and like something just, pff, I wanna draw that, like I have to hit the pause button. I'm like, huh. <laughs> and I'm like looking at a tiny little reference on my phone and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll get it down. <laughs> It's really, really fun. Uh, there's an elephant, Thor. Um, this, I wanted to like experiment with the watercolors and see if I could get some kind of like feathering sort of effect. So like all the details on the face and then the hair was just like a um, It didn't really work as well as I wanted it to, but I still really like the way this looks. And I think that nose turned out really, really good. I like it. It's a girl with like a swimsuit skirt here. Again, with the same like, I wanted to draw a mermaid with a turtleneck. I wanted to draw a mermaid with an umbrella. Whoa, hello strap. I wanted to draw a mermaid with an umbrella. <laughs> yeah, and then Bloodfish just can't get his opened. This was a reference on Pinterest. Uh, this is a sloth. I really like the cartoony ones, but he, this actually looks like someone I know. And every time I look at it, I'm like, ooh, it looks like him. <laughs> so funny, <laughs> which is weird because it's a sloth and the person I know is a human. So it's kind of weird. I really like this one too. That one's a little illustration that like spans the two pages. Here I was watching some YouTube videos and I decided to draw the people in them. That's Minnie Small, that's Bonnie, and those are her kids. And these two are just random sketches. This one I think is my absolute favorite of the whole page. Look how freaking cute he is. Look at him, just look at him. Let's just pay attention to this. Oh, 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 so cute. And I don't draw kids. So I think this was a very good exercise for me. <laughs> Warm up -y page. This, I have this print from uh, Loish that I've had for like probably almost 10 years now. Um, and I was like, I'm just gonna draw that and see, do a little Loish art style study. So that's what that is. I really enjoyed the way she draws faces. So that was, what did I decide to do with that? This, I, there was this an ad on Pinterest for like, I don't know, like kids clothes or something. And there was this girl who was just so insanely happy. I, I drew her, but she looks a little demonic. So I, I don't I don't love that, but I like the sketch. That one, that was pretty good. Uh, here's like, I was pretending to draw in the lowish art style. And I really liked the way that turned out. So after doing that study, I was like, oh, I remember all these like different details about different things she does when she draws. And so I kind of like put them all into one for myself. He's a mermaid, I really like that. This was on Pinterest as well. It was just this lady with the craziest pants. So I started to draw that. I assume she's in the circus or something. It was like a vintage circus-y photo. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I drew it as a mermaid. Here's some Pokemons. I really love this Squirtle. It was like just a quick sketch and it just looks so cute that I did a Charmander and a Bulbasaur. Uh, here, I believe that's Cyrene. I drew her. She had some picture of her with like I think the cat was somewhere, but I didn't draw the cat. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is another reference from Pinterest, as well as that one. I really love the way this face turned out. I was trying to do that, what I said before, like with the feathering, with the detail in the face. Um, I think it turned out all right. <laughs> Not my favorite. Here's a mermaid as well. So we're already on the last day of May. So this is when I was kind of like, oh, I only have a couple pages left, I can finish it. So <laughs> I decided to like go ham and finish the entire sketchbook for the rest of the day. So I'm glad that I did. <laughs> and then here I used the color green and drew a bunch of sketches. She kind of reminds me of Thor. I really like the way this hair, like the feathering of it and then the outline, I don't really like that as well. And then the profile. And then this was the last page. So it's me and my dog. <laughs> Thank you for looking through my sketch park. So yeah, um, a lot of the sketches, like I said, so like from, this was all in May. And I never would have thought I could have finished the sketchbook in that month <laughs> when I was only this far in when I started. Um, and if I'd only drawn one thing a day, it probably wouldn't have gotten done. But the fact that just, I formed a habit in May to first thing in the morning before I even ate breakfast was I would draw something. And I just got up and drew. And because I had already started drawing, it was kind of hard for me to stop because I mean, as an artist, I, I like drawing. Okay. 
<laughs> the hardest part for me is just getting down and doing it. So starting this habit and drawing something in the morning really, really helped me. And I feel like it helped just in productivity for the rest of the day as well, because I, I had this like mindset where anything that I do today, like, oh, I don't like that picture. <laughs> I've already finished like a page in my sketchbook. Like I've accomplished something today. So I like had this awesome mindset and I was able to get other things done and I just felt productive and I don't know, it was a very good month for me. So yeah, thanks for coming along and looking through my sketchbook. Uh, if you're wondering what kind of sketchbook I use, this was the Strathmore Vision Mixed Media, uh, 70 pages and it has that customizable cover, which is really, really cool. So it's like a blue toned paper and then you can draw whatever you want on it. You don't have to draw this, <laughs> but yeah. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed looking through my sketchbook. I've already started my next sketchbook. It's right here. Hey, look how square it is. I got a hardcover with that spreads that I can draw across. Oh yeah, so excited for that. Um, I did the cover page. Yeah, there's a bunch of drawings in there. So hit that like button if you're excited to see what sketches I fill this with. I think there's 112 pages in this. So I'm gonna try and finish it in June. I started four days into June. I gave myself a couple of days off because I'd drawn every day in May. <laughs> but I'm gonna try and get this done in June or early July. So yeah, hit the like button if you wanna, <laughs> if you want me to get it done in a month, we'll see. <laughs> I'm still trying to draw. I've just gotten back into the habit of drawing every day again in the morning. So I, I think I'm optimistic. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know. It's okay. Right, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week. Um, and I hope you all have a delicious evening. Bye.